morning, Houston. It's time to find out what's happening in our Houston area. Don Nelson and Jan Glenn have news and information important to you and your family. Doug Brown's weather will help you plan your day. Now, good morning, Houston. And good morning, everyone. I'm Don Nelson. And I'm Jan Glenn, and we are at St. Luke's Cafeteria, and we are with the kids from Texas Children's Hospital, and there's a reason for that. That's right. The ABC Family Fund for all the cartoon characters, all your favorite friends on Saturday are here with us today, right in the cafeteria. They have a great musical extravaganza for the next hour. We invite our entire audience here and at home. Usually we ask the parents, uh, coming up next, we're going to talk about something, so have the children leave. Now it's reverse. We say, Mom, Dad, go get the kids and bring them to the television set for the next hour. You know, I've met everybody. <laughs> I'm getting close. You'll love this. Everybody at home, watch this. Well, no, I, all these no, kids. Not yet, but I'm working. Are you ready? Can I do uh -huh. this real quick? Sorry, about it. Right. This is Edward, Christopher, Richard, Richard, Garrett, Heather, Roxanne with the apple, Tony, a newcomer. Oh, I'll learn it in a minute. <laughs> Melissa, Penrita, Colby. Amy, Brian, don't stop. Uh, 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 Benjamin, uh, Ryan, Seth. Give him a hand. That's what Don has been doing, memorizing names for the past I'm hour. In fact, let's talk to some of these kids, <laughs> Don, now that you have uh, memorized their names. This is Roxanne. Roxanne, how old are you? 22 months. 22 months. <laughs> <laughs> and who is this big guy right here? <laughs> a 22-month-old ventriloquist, my that goodness. That is absolutely incredible. We've never had one on our show. Yeah. <laughs> I would go over here and meet All Heather. Right. Heather, because I told Heather she was in charge of smiles, right? Let's see it. Now, we practice. Smile. <laughs> Hi, Heather. How old are you? Eight. Eight years old. And do uh, you have any favorite characters you're ready to meet? Mm. Anybody special on Saturday? Ghostbusters, Slimer, maybe? Mm. Hmm? Beetlejuice. Who? Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. You know, I met Beetlejuice backstage. What a way do you see? Uh, what do you see? Anyway. We have a lot of characters yeah, a lot coming of things up. Going. And the kids are going to talk to us about some of these characters. These are all the cartoon characters now that you see Saturday mornings on ABC. But first of all, we need a nice weather forecast. Although we're indoors, we'd like to have that nice weather, sunshiny day. Let's check in with Doug Brown. Doug, good morning. All right. Thank you, Don and Jan, and hi, everybody. And hello to those at the Children's Hospital. Just before we get into the weather, there's a 20th anniversary celebration at Intercontinental Airport coming up Saturday. For more information, 440-4160. This is all about flying at Intercontinental Airport over the past 20 years. Okay, here's the situation weather-wise. We're going to take a look outside, first of all, at uh, what could be a beautiful day. Grass medium at 15. Elm trees are light at 6. And mole spores are medium at 661. We didn't put ragweed here, but it is also very, very light. Now, here's how the clouds look at about 9 o'clock last night, beginning more and more to work in from the east, putting those clouds in motion, you can begin to see developing shower activity coming out offshore. And we'll do it one more time. Here you see how the whole system begins to work. I'm going to show you a sequence of pictures that shows you how the radar is picturing this whole thing happening and why rain is in our forecast today. This is how it looked overnight. The shower is developing, moving from south to north. And then you see down here, watch this next area right here. This is why we feel the rains will be coming in hitting first from the south to the north. They're building east or west as they come from the east, and they're also pushing from south to north. Here's a look at live radar now, and you're going to see the activity fairly well offshore at the hour. But the point here is that the whole system of clouds and moving in from the east then begins to push from south to north, and we expect to have rain in our forecast for the next several days because of that. Here is our forecast. The three-day outlook. Today, partly sunny at 85. Our chance of rain is at 20%. Look for Friday to be about the same. Morning low in the mid-60s, afternoon high mid-80s with a 20% chance. And then another 20% chance expected on Saturday. So, warmer weather, morning and evening, and perhaps a little bit of rain. More of our show in just a minute. Rain in our forecast for the next several days because of that. Here is our forecast. The three-day outlook. Today, partly sunny at 85. Our chance of rain is at 20%. Look for Friday to be about the same. Morning low in the mid-60s, afternoon high mid-80s with a 20% chance. And then another 20% chance expected on Saturday. So, warmer weather, morning and evening, and perhaps a little bit of rain. More of our show in just a minute.
got a lot of things to clean. You need si difficult and painful movement. Crippling joint damage. It can stop you dead in your tracks. For more information about arthritis, call the Arthritis Foundation. I thought I could hide my age, Jan, but somebody asked me who my favorite character was, and I said, Howdy Doody, and they went, Who? <laughs> you know? So, don't, the, don't those parents think, that have been around a while. Yeah. Don't think Howdy Doody's here today, Doc. Yeah, Howdy Doody is not <laughs> part of the new. Uh, He's the not here, but look at all the kids who have yeah. joined us from Texas Children's Hospital. We are at St. Luke's Cafeteria, and we're ready to get this show underway. Are all you kids ready? Yeah. All right, let's put our hands together and welcome the MC of ABC's Fun Fair, Cynthia Owen. Here she is. Winnie the Pooh and Tigger, Sylvester the Cat, Peanut Taco and the Bell Rockers, and your fun fair host, Cynthia Owen. Come on, everybody, let the good times roll. Come on, get your hands together. Let us thrill your soul. Come on, everybody, let the good times roll. We'll roll on and on. Come on, everybody, yeah, it's time to play. Well, everything's gonna be all right today. Come on, everybody, let the good times
stage right now. Let's get this joint jumping. Boys, everyone put your left hand up in the air like Come on, get your left hand uh, up. Now put your right hand up there, too. And the right one up, right. too. Now let's put them together and make some noise. Oh, I know you're good at making noise. All right, folks, get out of here. We are the Bad Boys. We Thanks, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you guys are terrific. We certainly were. Hey, you know, I didn't know you were so into rock and roll. Are you crazy? We started rock and roll. Have you never heard of Bugs Bunny and the Hop and Rollers? Well, I can't say that I have Well, yet. then step back and give us some room, because you're going to see the most awesome display of rock and roll that you can imagine. So that's your, what time is it? One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. Nine, ten, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, rock. We're going to rock around the clock tonight. Put your glad rags on and join me, hon. We're going to have some fun when the clock strikes one. We're going to rock around the clock tonight. We're going to rock, rock, rock till broad daylight. We're going to rock, going to rock around the clock tonight. ABC Family Fun Fair live from Texas Children's Hospital right after this. Stay with us. Yeah, but never do. Hello, Jerry. But all of our audiences from Texas Children's Hospital. Can everybody wave to everyone at home? Say good morning. Having a great time, and I think I don't want to waste any time because we're having so much fun meeting all of our characters from ABC's Family Fun Fair. Once again, here is ABC's Family Fun Fair.
now I'm looking for my friend. Hello, Batika. Have you seen him? Well, no, Pua. I sure haven't, but I'm sure he's around here somewhere. Tigger! Oh, I'm late. Tigger! I'm late. I'll give it to you straight. Can't even say hello, goodbye. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. <laughs> oh, well, now, Tigger, you know, maybe if you could just slow down a second, Poop and I would like to talk to you. Now, just hold on. Where are you going in such a big hurry? Gotta find Christopher Robin. He's in big trouble. His mother's serving vegetables for lunch. Oh, my! He is in trouble. Well, why, Pooh? What's wrong with vegetables? I don't think vegetables like Christopher Robin very much. Or is it that he doesn't like them? Well, you know, Pooh, vegetables are good for you. They help make you strong and healthy. They do? They do. Even carrots? Even carrots. Thought I'd never make it, but I'm back. Oh, Tigger, what happened? It was awful. Cauliflowers to the right of us. Brussels sprouts to the left. A whole bowl of carrots. Oh, and not carrots. He had to eat every last bite. Never would have made it without me. <laughs> Tigger, you're a good friend. Well, that's what Tiggers are best at. <laughs> Being friends. <laughs> Once your friends with Tigger. Always friends with Tigger. Ever and ever fascinated by him. Always at my side to stay. Hey, once your friends with Pooh Bear. <laughs> Tear up your list, it's Pooh Bear. Fly him with honey, buckets full of honey. Watch him try and chase the bees away. Whenever there's adventure full of danger, the skies are looking gray. It's nice to know my friend is here beside me to save the day. Oh, once your friend with Tigger, with Pooh Bear, you'll always be friends with Tigger, with Pooh Bear, ever and ever. There to defend him, friends to the end we will be. Yes, you will always be best friend with me. <laughs> oh, bother. Fancy stepping there, Pooh Boy. A one, a two, a follow this Tigger. <laughs> now you're getting it, kiddo. <laughs> You will always be, yes, you will always be, oh, you will always be best friend with me. <laughs> Told you it'd be splendiferous. And it's the ABC Family Fun Fair with the kids from Texas Children's Hospital. We'll be right back. Stay with us. What's it like to be over 60 and gay? What do you tell your grandchildren? We'll talk to a homosexual couple who've lived together for 40 years and a grandmother who came out of the closet at 72. They'll tell the story of the changes that have happened to the gay community from scandal to acceptance. Next time. Friends. Lovers. GFN. And it's the ABC Family Fun Fair with the kids from Texas Children's Hospital. We'll be right back. Stay with us. What's it like to be over 60 and gay? What do you tell your grandchildren? We'll talk to a homosexual couple who've lived together for 40 years and a grandmother who came out of the closet at 72. They'll tell the story of the changes that have happened to the gay community from scandal to acceptance. Next time. Friends. Lovers. Relationships. Donahue. One word says it all. Donahue. Thursday morning at 10, here on 13. Walmart Toyland is open now, and every shelf is filled with all the new toys, and always the low price. They're toys that work like magic. Like Mattel's Little Miss Makeup and Little Miss Dress Up, just $18.96 each. And mini Hot Wheels color racers, four for only $4.96. Hide them away and lay away. There's no service charge. Walmart Toyland. All the new toys, always the low price. Walmart, always.
back with the kids from Texas Children's Hospital, and I'm with Melissa. And Melissa, who's your favorite Saturday morning cartoon character? The, the, the gummy bear. My goodness, guess who's coming up right now? The gummy bear. The gummy bear. <laughs> All right. They sure are. So let's step aside and bring them on. Here they are. right in. Hey, this is a lot of fun. Where'd you guys learn how to do this? Oh, just give a listen, and I'll explain. Because I was afraid to jump when I was just a cub. My father gave my nose a tweak and said, now listen, bub. But they will come when you will have to save your aching nose. You need a song to bounce along, and this is how it goes. Whoa. Super yummy in your tummy, yummy berry juice. It's the one that brings the fun and makes you wanna pop. Keeps you happy and so very happy to announce. Super yummy in your tummy, gummy berry juice. I'm the little little lump in back. I'm the little little lump in back. It's time for gummy berry juice when trouble is around. And then you need a little boost to lift you off the ground. So with some special magic, your feet will start to sing. You'll bounce so high up in the sky while everybody sings. Oh, super yummy in your tummy, gummy berry juice. Hey, you know what, Sonny? Grammy, I think I've got it. Oh, you sure do. Now, how about all those kids out there? Oh, you're right, Sonny. Okay, how many bouncers do we have out here? Come on, raise your hand. We're going to need your help on this one, okay? What we're going to do is clap our hands. Come on, clap your hands. Come on, that's it. from the ABC Family Fun Fair right after this. Stay with us.
my warriors may kill you. Which side are you on? Better pick one. To walk between two worlds on the Young Riders. Then the torn families of the Killing Fields reunite. Diane Sawyer, Cambodia, Prime Time Live. We've got your ticket to the stars. World Premiere Week begins October 2nd on the 3 o'clock million dollar movie with Don Johnson in a Western showdown. It's the untold story of Judy Garland. Steve Gutenberg is a blind youth searching for love. Cher takes us on a nostalgic look back in time. Finally, he rose from the barrios to start the Freddie Prince story. All world premieres and they begin October 2nd on the 3 o'clock million dollar movie here on 13. Michael Douglas and Genevieve Bujold star Friday night at 11. We have another Melissa with us right now. The show is going on, and Melissa, I overheard you while ago guy said that she liked the gummy bears. Is that correct? Yes. Well, there's a whole bunch of characters back there behind that screen, and all these people you've seen so far, who's the favorite? as good to her, she said, he's as nice as George Strait. <laughs> well, he's right across the room. Let's talk with him right now and see who he is visiting with, Don. All right, Jan, I'm over here. I'm over here with Billy Batman, right? Is it Billy Batman? No. Is it Billy? Yes. What's your last name, Billy? Lee. Lee. Are you enjoying this? Now, who's your favorite character, though? Beetlejuice. Now we're waiting for Beetlejuice to come on though. Why do you like Beetlejuice so much? Isn't he kind of scary? <laughs> All right, I'm back here. I'm trying to learn everybody's name. You were great, by the way. You did great. All right. All right, let's go back now to ABC's Family Fun Fair. We'll talk to some of the kids a little bit later on. Watch. Go, 
Monsters! Hey, Daffy, are you afraid of ghosts? I ain't afraid of no ghosts. They're despicable. Well, what about you, Sylvester? No way! We be fast and mighty whoa! I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Well... They shake my nerves and they ride on my brain. Too many ghosts drive a man insane. I feel a chill. Ooh, what a thrill. Goodness gracious, great ghost is final. He's a little spooky, I'm a little bit funny. He comes along and scares me, honey. He's going to slime. This ghost is mine. Goodness gracious, great ghost is final. Can you tell us what you're so excited about? What? Well, what is he trying to say? I don't know. Maybe he's looking for some food. What? Tacos? Hey, Daffy, can you tell me what Slimer's trying to say? Don't ask me, brother. This little green thing doesn't even speak English. Huh? Well, well Sylvester, can you please tell me what Slimer's trying to say? I think he said Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice! Beetlejuice. Again, Kmart shoppers, it's showtime. Hother, how you doing there? Well, hold these for me, won't you? Don't let them slither away. <laughs> Beetlejuice is the name. Fun's my game. Welcome to the fun fair. Well, I'm just pleased as much that you invited me here to share the party with you and your friends. You really are. And I really am touched that you cared enough to send for the very best. <laughs> After all, they don't call me the ghost with the most for nothing. You know, you make me want to kick my heels up and yeah. throw my hands up and yeah. turn my head around. Yeah. Oh, stop getting to say we heal. Stop forgetting to say yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Say it right now, baby. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, come on. Hey, 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 hey. Say that you want to. Could you hold this for me, please? I was so busy. I was so busy with the show. I missed it. What happened? Did you? What did you see? I missed it. Who did? Who did you see? Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Now I heard everybody screaming. What did he do? Trying to see it, right? 
He turned his head around? No. He has a pretty funny haircut, too, doesn't he? Yeah, he turned his hair around. <laughs> Who else was here today? Did you see anybody else? Your bastard. Hey, does he talk like that? Does he talk funny? The cat? The putty cat, as they say. Did you have a good time? I know, it's amazing, isn't it? Did you have fun? <laughs> it's a good time. We had a great time. Did everybody have a good time? Yeah. Listen, I'll tell you. Dolly. Hello, Dolly. What did you did you see the whole show? I missed half of it. What was what was what was going on here? I don't know. It was pretty exciting though, huh? Did yeah. you win at you? I missed him. He must have been the most popular one. No. Did he have a pretty haircut? Yeah. <laughs> Who's this? Hi. What's your name? Candace. Candace? Did you enjoy the show? Did, I didn't see all of it. Who was here? Slimer. Slimer. Wait a minute. Slimer the real tall one? No. No? Well, is, he the, is he real tall and kind of... No. No? He was short. Short? What color was he? Green. Green like slime, huh? Ooh. Hi, Tony. Did you have a good time? Look at these. Wait a minute. These are not the famous Batmobile slippers, are they? These are the Batmobile slippers. Mm -hmm. This is our... You're ready for this. Mickey Mouse camo and Batman slippers. What a fashion trendsetter, Tony. I want to tell you that right now. We had a lot of fun. We met all... There, see? Garrett's taking the pictures. Garrett, I'm smiling right now. Ready? There you go. There goes the... Oh, the engineer just went. There goes that camera. All right, let's go. Well, Jan's over there. I'm going to go down on this end a little bit more. i got to get the word from Edward. Edward, did you like it? Did you have a good time? Good, good, good. And uh, you had a good time? Everybody had a good time on this end? Hi, who's this over here? I Jacob. Jacob. Oh, excuse me. Listen, did you enjoy it? Uh-huh. Well, I was so busy, I missed it. What, did it, what went on? Sylvester the Cat and Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh? And Tigger, too? I remember that. I remember that. Well, is that, you've got the... Let me see your shoes. I'm a big shoe fan here. Look at this. Check it out. The sneakers to look for in the store. All right. Want to say hello to everybody? Hey. Hey. All right. Let's go over to Jan. Jan, hey. Hey. We have a, a little guy here who's 14 months. His name is Kobe. And he's trying out for the ABC Family Fun Fair. He wants to be on the show. And I understand that he's quite a dancer. Is that correct? Uh-huh. Right. Kobe, you're already, well, you're practicing. You go ahead and practice while I talk to some of your other friends. All right? Okay, now, let's see. I took some lessons from Don on this. Brian, Amy, you met Kobe, and, of course, Melissa. Did you ever learn that trick that Beetlejuice did where he turned his head all the way around? You did? You can do that. I saw you up there dancing, and you can really dance. If you could just learn that other little trick, we'll bring him back out a little bit later and see how he does that, all right? Okay. I want you to meet somebody else because this little fella has quite a group watching, I understand, this morning. Is that correct? And what is your name? Juan. I'm sorry? Juan. 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 And what uh, group of kids are watching you this morning? <laughs> are they some of your buddies from school? Yes, it's Kindergarten Press, Blue Ridge. And what, what school is that? Blue Ridge. Blue Ridge. And you want to look right in there and say hi to them? Because you're a star this morning and they're all watching you. Right here, Juan, right there and say hi. <laughs> all right. And we met Melissa. She's going to get that autograph from Don Nelson here in just a minute. And what is your name? Jennifer. Jennifer, did you enjoy it this morning? Yes. You're awfully quiet over here. Kobe's <laughs> He's still auditioning for the show. <laughs> oh. Thank you. He knows how to work the microphone. We got that down pretty well. What was your favorite part of the show this morning? I like Scooby-Doo the best. The one? Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo, why? It's just so cute and adorable. With that little tongue hanging out and kind of kind of peppy. Do you get up every morning and watch the cartoons on Saturday? Yes. Why are you here at Texas Children? Because I have cystic fibrosis and asthma. How are you doing with it? Pretty good. You know, last weekend they had a huge fundraiser, the Ben Johnson Bum Phillips event. Were you out there for that? Mm-hmm. 
And so all the stars came and supported you. They raised a lot of money, over $140,000. Well, it's good to meet you. Thank you. All right. And who is our friend right here? Amanda. And who was your favorite little guy this morning in the show? Peter O'Toole. <laughs> Did you ever learn to do that trick where you spin your head around like that? Mm, no. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to learn that before the show's over. But right now, let's go to back to the station, Doug Brown, and get a weather report for all these kids. All right, Jan, it looks like a pretty nice day out there. We're going to show you how it looks from our tower camera. To see that particular spot, that's looking to the west, you would think there aren't any clouds, but they're trying to creep in from the east, and we're going to show you that now uh, on our satellite photo in just a moment or so. These are the developing showers we've been watching overnight that continue to develop a little bit farther west every hour and then move up from south to north. A look at live radar will give you an indication of what we see at the moment, but bear in mind, this is a 240-mile range, so these showers are way, way out. It may take most of the day, if not perhaps even into the evening hours for these showers, even to make it close to the shore. It's very dramatic when you see it on our satellite photo. A lot of moisture coming in across from the Pacific, then extending into the Gulf, moving very rapidly, then more Gulf showers uh, beginning to move in from the eastern Gulf of Mexico in our direction as well. At 9 o'clock, it was 56 in Lufkin with a few clouds, 68 on Galveston Island with some cloud cover, and from that point westward, no clouds at all. 71 at our studios. 65 Bryan College Station, Austin 66, 62 San Antonio, 71 clear in Corpus Christi, and a 69 there uh, in Brownsville with no cloud cover either. Now here's how our weather map looks today. These are the showers you saw on radar. Everything else beyond that point is wet all through the southeast, but from this point westward, including us, not much has happened. Tomorrow we expect to see more sunshine, but there will be that gathering of a few showers as well. Here's our three-day forecast. Today we look for partly sunny at 85. A 20% chance today, 20% Friday and Saturday. We continue to look uh, for temperatures in the mid-60s mornings, mid-80s afternoons. And more of our show in just a minute. Videotel Network with a terminal that hooks up to your phone. Free. Want to check out the movies? The electronic encyclopedia. Free. Play games. Play games. Shop. <sighs> Trying it in your home is the only way to see how it works. So call 240-5454 and for 60 days get the terminal and basic services free. After 60 days, it's only $14.95 a month on your Southwestern Bell telephone bill. But right now, it's free. Free. Call U.S. Videotel. 240-5454. Hear you. If she's late. For Sherry. Because of a drunk driver, family reunions will never be the same. We're back at Texas Children's Hospital. We're in St. Louis Cafeteria with some of the, uh, the fine kids at Texas Children's Hospital who have enjoyed our show, the ABC Family Fun Fair. And I did not want to leave this morning without getting one in. I missed one. And, and tell everybody your name. Cassie. Cassie Reyes. And you from Houston? Where are you from? Where? Rosenberg. Rosenberg? And what was your favorite character? Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, see? We think Beetlejuice is sort of like the modern-day Yosemite Sam. We're not sure, but everybody loved Beetlejuice. And did you have a great time? Would you do me a little favor? Would you look right there and go, hi, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Jan? We just wanted to show you that we've drawn a crowd here this morning. It's not just for kids. We have some older kids here so let's talk with them so what was your favorite part of the show watching scooby-doo scooby-doo yeah. all right i've got to say beetlejuice he's ahead at, at this point ghostbusters <laughs> beetlejuice all right two to one beetlejuice wins there is going to be a big uh, going on in the houston area today if you want to take your kids to see the show we have a few places to tell you where they'll be that's right personal appearances uh, metropolitan multi-service center at 1475 west gray today at 3 p.m uh 
Children between the ages of four and eight years of age recommended for this appearance. Also at Greenpoint Mall, Friday and Saturday shows at 12 noon, 2 p.m., 4 p.m., and 6 p.m. And Greenpoint Mall Sunday shows are at 12.30 p.m., 2 p.m., 3.30 in the afternoon, and 5 p.m. So you have plenty of opportunity to go visit the ABC Family Fun Fair if you're watching from home. Uh-huh. And I hope that you've enjoyed it today and the kids. Try to get out with your family and see them while they are in town because I know the kids have had a great time this morning getting to see all their favorite cartoon characters. All right. And can everybody say goodbye for us? Say, and good morning, Houston, all right? <laughs> all right, and we'll bye -bye. see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Transportation courtesy of Jack Elpin's River Oaks Chrysler Plymouth 4807 Kirby Drive, just south of the Southwest Freeway. This is Phil Donahue coming up next. A gay couple who've lived together for 42 years and a grandmother who came out of the closet at 72. Gay seniors, next time.